After hours of laying on a table, bare skin exposed to an electric needle, beads of colored ink come together to form a piece of living art on a body once ravaged by disease. When you lose a nipple structure or an areola on the, on the chest, they're like the eyes of the torso. You don't know where to look when they're missing. There is little choice when it comes to conventional breast removal. It's a disfiguring procedure that leaves scars on more than just the surface of the skin. Uh, I had a lumpectomy and then I had another lumpectomy and then they still didn't have clear margin so I had to have a vasectomy and that was two years ago. I didn't feel any less of a woman but it was just, it's always a reminder looking in the mirror. Breast cancer survivor Terry Welsh is looking to restorative tattooing to help her heal. I also have a scar from here to here. Okay. So I'd like I'd like that to be incorporated as well. Arrington then, tattoo artist Sam R is using her knowledge and talent to change the lives of cancer survivors. If you go for something that is a realistic restoration of an areola, it actually allows your eyes to tell your brain, to tell your body that you're okay. You're back together, you're in one piece again. When it comes to the beautiful random art flow, whether it's a personal design or inspired by nature and, and um, whether it's totally free form or is made to look like you're wearing lingerie, you know, it's again, something that's covering um, the chest, it's covering the experience. Sam is one of only two sanctioned Canadian tattooists enlisted by P. Inc., a charitable organization that got its start in New York City that funds tattoo services for breast cancer survivors. P. Inc. is Personal Inc. It's an organization that is, in a way, a Make-A-Wish Foundation matching breast cancer warrior survivors with uh, amazing, skilled, tattooers who have mastectomy tattoo experience and scar tissue experience. So matching the survivor with the artist to create just gorgeous pieces that cover scar tissue and uh, helping them move forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. The organization now boasts they have 45 tattoo rock stars in 13 North American locations enlisted to ink mastectomy tattoos. There are actually a lot of technical um, things that we look at with scar tissue. So regular cellular tissue, uh, healthy skin tissue, has a certain uh, engineering to it as the surface of the skin. Whereas when you come into contact with a scar, it can be striated, it can be thin, it can be thick, it can have blood flow, it can have less blood flow. You really have to also read the damage from the surface of the skin through the depths of layers. Sam recently participated in her second P. Ink Day in October, covering the scars of mastectomy survivor, 52-year-old Tracy Young of Victoria. I'm just excited to grow with the organization. Um, I'm really excited to be an ambassador for BC. I feel like I really fit in, fit like a glove in this uh, position of specialty and expertise and um, compassion and intuitive nature. So as a calling, I just feel like it fits so beautifully. Terry hopes to be under the needle at next year's annual event. When I saw Tracy going through that, it was like I was it was so emotional and just like when I saw her uh, look at herself and just be like, oh, you know, and she said, um, this part of the journey is a choice. I get to choose to do this. And that was, yeah, I was like, okay. And that made me decide what I was going to do. I do want the tattoo to tell a story of my journey. Mm -hmm. Demand is incredibly high and growing. Not everyone who applies to be part of Personal Ink Day gets selected. Sam has made this type of work her charity, offering a substantial discount to those people she calls cancer survivor warriors. I definitely want to make space for women to come here to this sanctuary um, to have this private service done uh, throughout the year. So whether that's that I see one person a month or one person every other month, I know that I can manage that. 
P Ink Day happens only once a year and matches a single artist with a single survivor at each location. However, mastectomy patients can sign up the rest of the year at pink.org, where donors may contribute to help fund the program. For Go, on Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.